Welcome to Hikari Kai Dojo. I'm Sensei Joanne Smith. And in this school, we study Okinawan Gojo Ru and Shito Ru, as well as Usui Reiki Natural Healing and Hatha Yoga. In this video, we will present eight katas that we practice from white belt to black belt in the Gojo Ru style. Gojo Ru was founded in 1930 by Sensei Chojin Miyagi. Kata are a dance-like form of blocks and kicks and strikes against an invisible opponent. And in traditional schools, we study those forms and we learn those forms and we master those forms. So we have the skills to fight against a real opponent if necessary. In this video, we're going to explore a different aspect of the katas, a secret aspect. Om Shri. What people don't think about or see when they perform a kata is that it has a profound physical and emotional impact on the person performing it. The reason that it has this impact is that it expands what's known as chakras, subtle energy centers that each person has. There are seven main chakras on the body. And each one has a psychological function as well as a physical location. We begin with the top of the head, the location of the crown chakra. This is our spiritual center. On the forehead is the third eye chakra, our intuition center, how we perceive the world around us. At the throat is the throat chakra, our communication center. The heart center in the upper chest is the heart chakra. This is our feeling center of how we connect to others. Below that is the solar plexus chakra, our feeling center of how we feel about ourselves, our self-worth and self-esteem. Two inches below the belt is the sacred chakra, or hara as we know it in karate. This is our life energy center and is protected by the belt knot that we wear. Below that and between our legs is our base chakra, our foundation center. In our curriculum, we study eight Gojo Rukata from white belt to black belt. They are Geki Sai Daichi and its sister kata, Geki Sai Daini, Saifa, Siyunshin, Shisoshin, Sanshin, Sanseru, we will be presenting those katas to you as well as exploring what happens, what happens energy-wise in the performance of these katas. Now, Geki Sai Daiichi was, was created by Chojin Miyagi, and its name means strength and power. I was very excited to see that the solar plexus chakra becomes enlarged in the performance of this kata. Now the solar plexus is related to our feeling, how we feel about ourselves, our feeling of self-esteem, our feeling of strength and empowerment. So this kata actually makes that change in our energy body, creating a good feeling. This is still my favorite kata of all the other ones that I've studied because of this good feeling. Geki Sai Daini, the sister kata to Geki Sai Daiichi, also produces an expansion of the solar plexus, but with something else. At the end, we have what's called a circle block, and with the performance of this block, energy is now released into the field around us, called our aura, which extends three feet in all directions from our physical body. 
We often do this kata in the dojo and then we blindfold ourselves and see if we can feel someone coming in, entering into our energy field. So this kata now takes that internal energy that's created in the solar plexus and flows it out into the field so that we can heighten our awareness for good self-defense. Sypha produces an enlargement of the heart chakra, the hara, and the throat chakra. If we put these aspects together, we can say that Sypha gives us courage to express our creative truth. It's very important on the road to self-mastery to be able to stand up for oneself and speak one's truth. Siunchen is the kata that expands the heart and clears the heart chakra. When the heart is in good balance, a person will be in a good place, able to give and receive love. Siunchen gives us a good heart. Its name means prosperity and good fortune. And if we have a good heart, we will move forward in life, forgiving the mistakes of the past. This is the battle that is the most important, the battle with oneself. This is a warrior's kata. Next, we'll be looking at Shisoshin. Shisoshin expands the third eye chakra, and it also expands the solar plexus to the greatest degree. But other chakras of the heart and the throat are also expanded as well. Now, from the third eye expansion, we gain greater insights. Through our solar plexus, we have that centeredness in ourselves, in our own being.
In this kata, there's a repetitive action, a heaven and earth balancing that happens in the blocks. We also have, in the strikes, we have heaven and earth aspects. This action helps us to remain centered between those aspects of heaven and earth, our highest aspirations, and how we stay grounded and centered in life. This kata is about balance. It keeps balance in our lives. The next kata that we're going to look at is Sanchen. This was created by the founder, Chojin Miyagi, and he considered it the most important kata in the style. It focuses on hard breath work that creates so much energy in the body that in olden days, boards were broken on the arms and legs of those performing the kata while they performed it. Please don't do that. Nowadays, though, we have insurance and liability issues to consider. Now, in the performance of this kata, what we do is we have two energy locks. One is at the base chakra, or the perineum point, and you can close this chakra. You lock it by squeezing your buttocks muscles really tight and holding that throughout the performance of the kata. The Sanchen stance helps you obtain that lock and maintain it throughout the kata. The other lock is maintained by placing the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Both of these locks successfully closes off the crown chakra and the base chakra so that when breath is then taken in, drawn in through the nose and out through the mouth, it circulates in the body creating what is known as a microcosmic orbit. This orbit then just increases, increases the energy production in the body and also the size of the chakras. Sanchen creates a master-sized energy field in all of the chakras. And what this does is it prepares the way for our internal energy source, what's called our kundalini energy. This is an energy that lies coiled at the base of the spine. When this energy is ignited, it will rise up the light channel, connecting all the chakras, flow out of the body, then down and back the secondary channels. This gives us a flood of internal energy. After the kundalini has risen, performing this kata will do something entirely different. What it does is it closes down all of the body chakras, except for the third eye, and expands this. This can make someone a little bit lightheaded. It can also bring them into an altered state that allows you visionary experience. One word of warning about Sanchin, that uh, pregnant women and people with high blood pressure should not do it with, uh, by holding the locks because there's too much pressure that's created. Mm-hmm. <sighs>
Sanseru is the next kata. And this kata does something strange. It anti-rotates the hara, or sacral chakra. This kata may make someone feel a little bit queasy or sick to their stomach because of this anti-rotation. When this occurs, it can ignite that kundalini energy that we talked about with San Chen and sending it up through the body and back down the secondary channels, empowering greatly the hands. Now this can be useful in two ways. Now as a Reiki healer, this is important to use if we're doing a hands-on healing, we want to have our hand chakras activated to be able to do that. But also as a martial artist, I know that it's important if I'm throwing energy at somebody in a strike, especially an open-handed strike. So Sansei Ru gives you empowerment in those hand chakras that you can use for healing or defending yourself. Tensho in our school is the last kata practiced for black belt studies. This kata creates an overall empowerment in all of the chakras, primary and secondary, with a little bit more expansion in both the crown and the third eye. This is an important kata to really practice every day, to have good breath, to have a good functioning energy body, as well as a functioning physical body. Tensho gives us an overall feeling Life is good. All martial art practice can empower us and heal us in specific ways. What we've looked at here are the Gojo Rukatas and how they may impact how we feel as well as the skills that we gain from them. If you're feeling bad about yourself and you're depressed, do Geki Sai Daiichi. If you need to ask your boss for a raise and you need to get that courage together, do Saifa. Si Yunchen can help you have a balanced heart, and this may be helpful in your relationship. If you have a fight with your loved one, go off, do Si Yunchen, and come back. You might feel differently when you need to stay balanced in your life. Do Si Soshi to find that balance between your heaven and your earth. San Chen gives us empowerment empowerment to access our own inner power. Sanseru helps drive that power up 
and forward into our lives so that we can use it to help, to heal, or to fight if we need to. Tensho gives us an overall good feeling everywhere so that we can say, life is good. These are the healing secrets. These are the things that kata give you that nothing else does. And each kata gives you something new, something different, a prescription for a healthy life, a healing secret.